Welcome to another episode of Field Phone Ops. Today we're going to look at the Swedish Army M37 Field Phone. So here we go. And this is a Swedish M37 Field Phone. Uh, Bakelite case, uh, pretty sturdy. These were first developed in the early 19 or mid 1930s. 1935 is the first reference I can find of it. Made by Ericsson Company for the Swedish military. Um, it's got a placard on it for you to write a station number, or call sign, or something. There's the uh, phonetic alphabet. Um, the crank or the magneto crank that's right in the spot right there. Um, now this is an interesting button. It's for a uh, buzzer teletype feature that some of the phones have. Um, we'll go ahead and open it up. It actually comes with a nice, really nice leather strap that I took off. I don't keep them on because it's easier when I do displays not to have them on. We'll go ahead and open it up. Like I said, Nikolite case. Got these uh, we'll press down and release. <coughs> That's it. It's got a, a schematic inside the uh, cover right there, how it operates. Um, consists of a handset right here. Push to talk on it right there. Plug on the other one to plug in. It also comes with a headset. Basically, you can plug this in and uh, somebody can sit and monitor what's going on in the phone call. It comes with one of these. Um, comes with a screwdriver for performing any maintenance or adjustment you have to do. And it comes with a magneto crank right here. Binding post right here for connecting field wire. Um, this is the button I talked about for the uh, buzzer tele teletype feature. Interesting feature, not all the phones have them. Usually if the phone has them, they actually go in and they remove the hand crank and magneto part and place with the buzzer part. Because the buzzer part can also be used to make that alert somebody of a phone call. Um, a selector switch right here, how to select either common battery or local battery. Uh, after this, I'll go into another video quick that shows how to set the common battery or local battery. Yeah, but right now that's that's the adjustment for it right there. The battery compartment's right inside here. It actually uses two D-cell batteries. It's got this spring plate that keeps it in place. And the uh, com compartment is right here. There it is. It's got the, uh, put the batteries in it. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and shut down. I'm going to hook it up to an EEA and we'll make some test phone calls. Okay, I've got it hooked up now. I've got the actual handset plugged in. I've got the... Uh, earpiece put on it and I've got some batteries in I have it connected to the old faithful EEA will make some phone calls. Now this does not have a uh, adjustable volume on the ringer which uh, doesn't mean it's not possible if you want to open it up and put some cotton or paper or something around in it dead to help dull it a little bit you probably could but just straight out of the box it doesn't have one. So the first thing I'll do is I'll go ahead and I'll call from the EEA to the M37. Here we go. Fairly loud ring. Let's go ahead and do an audio check. Test one, two, test one, two, three. Test one, two, three. Test, test. Loading curl like that. Test one, two, three. Test, 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 test one, two. And we'll go back that way. Okay, now we'll do a check from the, the call from the M37 to the uh, E8. Sounds like it works good. Do another audio check. Test one, two, three. Test one, two. I'll do one more check. We'll have to check from the uh, E8 to the, uh, the headset. Test one, two, three, three, two, one. Test out. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and shut down and we'll get connected up to do the uh, phone switch. But also after this, I'm going to put a video on that shows how to take and actually make changes to set the uh, common battery, local battery. Okay, this is going to be a quick video about changing the Swedish M3926 field phone from local battery to common battery mode and what the difference is. Basically, there's a selector switch right here that allows you to switch it from local battery to common battery, but it's not easy to move the switch. It's like locked. So what you have to do is we have to take this little piece right here and move it so that this little moving piece, you see it moving, will fit inside this little square right here. So there's two ways of doing it. You can use your finger like I'm going to do, or you can use the the screwdriver. I'm going to just go ahead and use my finger, so I'm going to pull this forward and I'm going to rotate this switch to common battery and it's going to pop up. Okay? Then I'm going to release this. Then the next thing I'm going to do is push down on the button. Okay, now it's ready for use. Basically, I'll explain how it works now. In this mode right here, whenever you push down, 
on the handset and you hang it up, this button pops up. This basically disables the handset mode, so you can't talk on it and go out of the phone. If you were to hook the handset up and talk on it with it like, or like this, with, even with the hook set up, and this button in the up position, what it does is you can hear yourself in the handset, but the phone will not transmit it onto the field wire. Okay? When you're in common battery mode and you pick the phone up in order to talk on it, you have to push the button. That in turn puts the phone in basically to a talking mode so you can talk back and forth. Once again, when you hang the phone up, button pops up, handset can no longer be heard over the, the, the lines. The only reason I think they did this was uh, when you hook a dialer to it, there's certain functions that you have to account for now as far as common battery where <clears throat> telling the switchboard that you're connected to whether you're on hook or off hook. And I think that's the reason they made this change when you switch that selector switch. Because when you go ahead and push the button down and go into talk mode and then hang it out, the only thing I'm thinking that is is it disconnects the handset from all the circuitry inside here when the phone's in the ring mode in common battery. I don't know if that makes any sense. So basically the thing to remember is if you're in common battery mode and you hang the phone up and pick it up, you got to push the button to talk. When you're done talking, hang the phone up, the button pops back up. Now let's go ahead and let's put it back into local battery mode. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to pull out on this spring piece again. We're going to rotate the switch, push it down, and rotate it to local battery. In the local battery mode, it, this doesn't matter. You can have this up or down and you can talk back and forth. So that's the, uh, the main difference between local battery and common battery and how to change it. Uh, I hope this makes sense. Thanks for watching. Okay, we went over the quick video about how to set it for common battery mode. and uh, We have it set for common battery mode. And we're going to hook up the dialing unit. This is the dialing unit that came with it. This comes in this nice leather case. And there it is. Pretty ingenious design. Uh, notice that the switch put the zero before the one, so it works. It's just you have to remember when you're in the U.S. You can dial that you're off by one number. So it just basically clips on the phone. We'll go ahead and hook it up quick. It basically fits on like this. It slips over the side. It's got these extra wires right here. These wires actually connect to the binding post like this. Maybe. Okay, there we go. Then the, the wires from the switchboard actually connect right here. We'll do that next. So I actually have my uh, ASUS switchboard set up so we can make some dial phone calls. Just do it like that. got dialed for. Okay, let's talk about this a little bit. This is it right here. Um, basically, the dialer fits between the phone and the switchboard system so that it provides the dial pulse. Um, this will work on your home phone at home. I've tried it before. It's just easier to work with this because I said uh, I have 16 phone lines with this. I only have one phone line, so I want to home phone, so I want to play with my phone, so I get this up. I have it connected up to my test phone. Here, we'll go ahead and make some calls. Um, first thing is, this, even though this is in common battery mode, you have to have two D cell batteries in it to make the microphone work correctly. So, the two D cell batteries. First thing I'll do is I'll go ahead and I'll call this phone from my test phone, and that's uh, number 14. Here we go, we got a good ring. Pick it up. Got to punch the button. Test one two. Test one two three. Test test. Test one two three. Okay, it's interesting because you have to take and key the push to talk to get it to work correctly. Okay, we'll go ahead and hang it up. Now I'll go ahead and I'll call from this to the other phone. Remember, like I said, you got to pick it up. You got to punch the button. That gives you dial tone. We're going to call one. One. There it is. Test one, two, three. Test one, two. Test one, two, three. And that's it. And like I said, the act of hanging it up pops that up and puts it back so it's not working anymore. 
that's basically how it works. You don't have to have the hand crank connected for this part of it at all. I just left it in there for the last thing I was doing. Like I said, it works okay on your phone at home, phone lines at home. You can operate the phone in uh, local, or excuse me, common battery mode, connected directly as a point-to-point -point to another phone. But the only issue is, uh, in order to make a call, use the magneto and send a, a ring to the other end, you have to take the phone off hook, push the button, and you can call, and the same thing. And it, it'll go through. Same thing coming back. If you don't have the phone hook, hung up on hook, it won't ring with an incoming phone call from another field phone. So that's pretty much it. And like I said, this is the... Uh, the Swedish M37 phone in common battery dialing mode with the uh, the dialing unit. Thanks for watching.